Looks like you two need a lesson in crossing the road. My little friend is going to show you how. First, find a safe place to cross. Here? A safe place away from parked cars, where you can see the road is clear and drivers can see you. Stop near the curb, but not too close. Look all around and listen for traffic. If traffic is coming, let it pass. When there is no traffic near, Walk straight across, looking and listening all the time. We won't be there when you cross the road, so always use the green cross pound. Because Frances was still a very young firefly, her tail wouldn't glow like those of the grown-ups, and this made her feel very sad. I can give you a glowing light, said Cocky Roach. Frances knew that Cocky was a very naughty young cockroach, but she couldn't resist. They lit a match from a box that Cocky had taken from his mummy's kitchen without her knowing. Frances knew she was doing wrong, but Cocky had her under his spell. Grasping the match, Frances took to the sky. <laughs> what fun! Cocky chuckled. The flame grew larger until it reached her wings and burnt her. In pain, she let the match drop to the ground. Soon the whole of the kingdom was burning. The following day, King Chrysalis said, We'll have to build everything again. Francis realized how foolish she'd been. In time, she got better and helped rebuild the kingdom. But she never forgot the words of her king. Remember, he said, never play with matches. And Cocky Roach never dared show his face again. Remember, never play with matches. came up and said, would I like to see some puppies? And I said yes. And I was going to go, but Charlie stopped me. <coughs> Charlie's reminded me, my mum says I shouldn't go off with people I don't know. Then the man went away. We went and told Mummy, and she said we'd been very good. I got an apple and Charlie got something he likes. <coughs> he says never go anywhere with men or ladies you don't know. One fine day, Tufty is playing on the grass with Bobby Brown Rabbit. But Harry Hare and Willie Weasel are playing out by the road, near the cars and buses. <coughs> Poor Willie. The car has knocked him down. Very luckily, Mr. Policeman Badger comes along to help. Oh, my word, says Policeman Badger. You are both silly boys to play in the road. Now Willie's been hurt. He won't be able to play with you for a long time. Never play near the road. My hobbies are football, cycling. I like playing in the street. And I like, like going down to the park and stuff. I like collecting medals, like football medals. I like the way they're presented and stuff because some are shiny and some are like blue, silver, green and stuff like that but they're always, the ones that I pick are always like blue but with shiny bits and I always make sure that if I have a football player it ain't just one with a leg out, it's one with an actual football on it.
This is the sound of a car crashing into a parked car at 30 miles an hour. Here it is again in slow motion. That strange sound was the back seat passenger who wasn't wearing a seat belt hitting the seat in front. That thud is the sound of the passenger's head hitting the driver. That's the sound of the driver being crushed by the weight of the passenger. The weird cracking was the passenger's thigh bone breaking as their knees hit the seat. That's the sound of the passenger having killed the driver sitting back down again. And that's the sound of a rear seat belt being fastened. Okay, doctor's ready for you now. Would you like to go in second left? You tell me this is the third time that you've blacked out and had these falls. Roll your sleeves up for me, please. Straighten your arm. This is just an ECG, which looks at the rate and the rhythm of your heartbeat. The scan's about to start now. This one will be four minutes. Really still. Well, it looks like your blackouts are the result of a form of epilepsy. Um, well, this medication will help you control the seizures. The next stage is to look at what triggers your epilepsy. Then we can develop some coping strategies. You're looking very, very well. I'll make an appointment with the hospital just for a checkup, just to make sure everything's okay. For more information on working in a team where everyone makes a difference, call 0845 6060 655. The game in the next 30 seconds is to guess which one of these houses have people at home and which ones don't. House number one, in or out? House number two, what do you think? And what about number three? Made up your mind yet? In fact, they're all empty. But if you were a burglar, which one would you think was your safest bet? If you want to keep them out, make them think you're in. Crime. Together, we'll crack it. Look, I know you're supposed to be hard, but let me try and explain. Giving blood is a very good thing to do. How can you be so, so cold about it? Don't you understand, without blood donors, there'd be no operations? or treatment for blood diseases, or for burns, or for newborn babies. People with haemophilia would bleed to death. Am I getting through to you? I don't know, they were right. It's like trying to get blood out of a... Oh, thank you. Uh, nice view from up here, Petunia. Yes, very nice, Joe. Worn tyres kill. Worn tyres kill? Are our tyres worn, Joe? Yeah, oh, I wouldn't think so, Petunia. Well, I expect you've looked. You have looked, haven't you, Joe? Joe, have you looked at our tyres? Uh, yes. Uh, Recently, Joe. <laughs> nice view from up here, Petunia. Joe, are our tyres worn? We're not worn, Petunia. They're a bit smooth. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> nice view from up here, Petunia. Yes, yeah, very nice, too. You'd think you'd wake in a house fire, wouldn't you? But just two to three breaths of toxic smoke and you're unconscious. Your lungs fill up. Just like drowning. 
Don't drown in toxic smoke. Test your smoke alarm weekly. Carbon monoxide from faulty gas appliances can kill. By law, landlords must have all appliances they provide safety checked by Corby registered installers. Ask for proof now, or tonight it could be you. Last place in the world to leave a bottle is a beach. If you hit me at 40 miles an hour, there's around an 80% chance I'll die. Life depends on the warmth of the sun being trapped by a layer of gases that surround the Earth. We now produce so much of these heat-trapping gases that the layer is getting thicker, heating the world, changing our climate and threatening our way of life. As the world gets hotter, the climate will change and some of the extreme effects we have witnessed will become more frequent, making our planet a more hostile place to live. If we could see the gases, the cause of the problem would be obvious to everyone. And if you could see the effect we are having on our planet, you'd do something about it. The solutions exist, and it's not too late to make a difference. But we have to act, now, today. Government, industry and individuals acting together to tackle the problem. For more information and to get involved, visit climatechallenge.gov. UK. Tomorrow's climate is today's challenge. Will everyone please take their seats? Very shortly, your row will be divided into units of three. Do not obstruct the gangways whilst the cages are installed. There is no cause for alarm. These cages are for your protection. Please cooperate with the surgeons. They will remove your teeth and nails. This greatly reduces the incidence of cannibalism. It is in your interest to comply. Eating, sleeping and defecating may cause some discomfort, but your space allowance complies exactly with government regulations and you have the satisfaction of knowing that you are part of one of the world's most cost-effective production systems. You have nothing to worry about. This system has been tested on 45 million specimens, with, I might add, your approval.
Welcome to the battery. Tonight, John will die in his sleep. He's warm, comfortable, and has his family by his side. Think. Don't drive tired. You find escalators everywhere these days, and we take them for granted. But don't take your child's safety for granted. Accidents can happen. Teach them the three safeguards. Stand still and don't walk down. Stand steady and hold hands. Stand clear, away from the sides and well within the yellow lines. Don't let this happen to your child. Stand still, stand steady, stand clear. Don't give fire a chance. Hey, look. Someone's had a go at this. Look! Over there, there's a football! Oh, yeah. Keep an eye on you two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, mate. This place is electrified. Oh, that's the fighting little kids. It's all right if you don't touch anything. I've seen people working up there. Yeah, well, um, I don't particularly want to mess around with this type of stuff. It's not worth it. You're just scared of getting caught. Stay safe. Stay out. Don't take a chance with electricity. What are you drinking? Same again? Yeah. No, not for me. What? I'm driving. I'm going to get pulled. Not on a Sunday. Uh, get me a half. Half is what girls drink. What's the problem here? I've got to get down with mum's for dinner. Oh, with mum's for dinner? Mummy's bought. Come on, Dave. Just one more. All right, then. Get me a pint. Come on, Dave. Just one more. Rat poison. Just one of the dangerous ingredients that may be found in fake medicines purchased from illegal websites.
A fire doesn't have to kill you to take your life. Call 08456 087087 for your free fire safety handbook. Once upon a time there was a dolly called Matilda. She was afraid of the dark. So the grown-ups put a nightlight in the bedroom. One night, Matilda thought she could smell something funny. It all happened so quickly. Help! Help! cried Matilda. Sadly, this is where the story ends. Please give us a pound, or we'll have to pull the trigger. Matches away from children. Now you see him. Now you don't. Now you see him. Now you don't. Now you see him. Now you see him. Now you see him. He was stupid, trying to prove how tough he was. I had a go at them kids. Why do you fly your kites around here, eh? We thought it would be OK, but the wind changed. Lucky they let go of it. They'd have been electrocuted. We should have told the police. Suppose he never knew about high-voltage electricity. You're crazy! He ignored the danger signs. Leave it there! He was stupid. He wouldn't come down. He didn't know electricity would go through the kite. It just jumped through thin air. Climbing pylons can kill. Don't take a chance with electricity. Attention. 
or pay the price. From DOE, supported by AXA Insurance. ready for you now. Well, Michael, the results of your blood test have come through, and we have found antibodies that indicate that you are HIV positive, 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 positive. The AIDS virus can live on dirty needles and equipment, so don't share because just one fix with an infected needle will really get you out of it. Like most victims, Julie knew her killer. It was her son, who was sitting behind her without a seatbelt. After crushing her to death, he sat back down. there. A gang of kids broken yesterday. I saw them. Pass me that bit of wood. substation. The electricity board warns children to keep away from substations. Never try to get toys back yourself, otherwise you may not live to play with them again. I am dying from motor neurone disease. Every Day, I'm more helpless as my muscles waste away. There is no cure for my disease and no hope for me. But I want there to be hope for others. I killed somebody. I was driving home in the morning when I thought I was okay, but obviously I wasn't. I left a husband and children without a mother and a wife, and I've got to live with that for the rest of my life. Very vivid nightmares. More realistic than anything I can actually remember. 
I'm just very sorry for my victims, the, the husband and the children and her family. They thought it throat cancer. They've come in and removed my voice box. Before they did this, they found out I got lung cancer as well. And the future plans right now are Alexander, my oldest, is coming over here for a holiday on December 13th. I will be alive for that. Call 0800 169 0169. Smile though your heart is aching, smile even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you get by. If you smile through your fear and sorrow, smile. Every year, thousands of other animals suffer this ugly pain in the name of beauty. Please don't use cosmetics tested in this way. Shall I tell you about my life? Say I'm a man of the world. I've flown across every time. And I've seen lots of pretty girls. Guess I've got everything. insurance.
on George and Betty's night of romance, things got a bit too hot to handle. There is now a deadly virus which anyone can catch from sex with an infected person. But you can't always tell if someone is infected. And unless we're all a lot more careful, the people who've died so far will be just the tip of the iceberg. So protect yourself. It's safer if you use a condom. And remember, the more sexual partners, the greater the risk. There is now a danger that has become a threat to us all. It is a deadly disease and there is no known cure. The virus can be passed during sexual intercourse with an infected person. Anyone can get it, man or woman. So far it's been confined to small groups, but it's spreading. So protect yourself and read this leaflet when it arrives. If you ignore AIDS, it could be the death of you. So don't die of ignorance. That was a public information film. I am the spirit of dark and lonely water, ready to trap the unwary, the show-off, the fool. And this is the kind of place you'd expect to find me. But no one expects to find me here. It seems too ordinary. But that pool is deep. The boy is showing off. The bank is slippery. The show-offs are easy. But the unwary ones are easier still. This branch is weak, rotten. It'll never take his way. Only a fool would ignore this. But there's one born every minute. Under the water there are traps. Old cars, bedsteads, weeds, hidden depths. It's the perfect place for an accident. I locked with someone in the water. Quick, you step in stick to get him out. Sensible children. I have no power over them. Hey, go over and get that thing to wrap him in. He's gonna have to feel cold, mate. How long was you in there? Ew, all the thing. I'll be back. back, 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 back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Is she gonna be all right? Five. Look, make her be all right. Oh, Calm down. <laughs> You're the driver of the vehicle, sir. No pulse, no response. Oh. Oh. Have you been drinking, sir? Driving up. Just a quick one. Clear. I thought I'd be OK. Stand clear. Starting up. Stand clear. It's going to be on. They're doing the best they can. Still no pulse, still no response. People not reacting. Still nothing. The patient is now systolic. I didn't mean it. Oh. <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. Hi, you're right. 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 Hi, Birthday, christenings, my man always finds a way to tell you something show, though. Yeah. It was a good thing you might never come because it was a big hype thing going about last night. See, that's yeah. why I like having younger brothers and sisters. I stay indoors while the beef stays outside. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>